just like everything is a lot smoother. They're just spitting it out. They're going back and forth. Brago. And it's just, you know, Brago. that's just how it should be, man. And, uh, Brago D Ace, man. Oh, i just been super, like, I haven't been able to uh, check out most of my friends' videos on YouTube. And I didn't know Brago had his channel got taken down for a second, for or not a second, for a little bit. So when I finally was able to check out, you know, his videos, and I'm like, what? He's talking about experience, about his whole ordeal, about getting his channel taken away, and then having to appeal. And, um, man, dude, just like, I'm glad that he's back. I'm glad that he won the appeal. I'm glad that uh, he's back. And if you don't know Brago Deace, I'll have his channel um, link in my description box. You need to check him out, man. Whatever when he when I was watching this video and I'm hearing him speak, like he's speaking from the heart. He's speaking from the heart. That's the realest. That's a real motherfucker right there. That's a real motherfucker right there. You know who the realest, who the fakes are. Well, that's real. That's real right there. When he's telling you that, hey, I'm like, yeah, I'm just warning you guys. This is my experience. I don't want any of you guys' channels to. Be like mine, where you're caught in a situation where, a, it just gets taken, it's, the channel gets taken, taken out completely, out of nowhere. Like you wake up one day and you can't even log on to your shit. Like he's sincere, man. He's sincere. He's pouring his shit out. He's saying, like, listen, <laughs> this is what you need to do to not get your channel taken away. You know, and I got love for all you guys. So. Brago, man, like, this is my video to tell you that I got your back as well. You know, I'm sorry I wasn't there in the beginning, but I got your back as well. I mean, anybody who goes out there and says we need to support each other and knows the true meaning of really doing this and really being a reviewer and not having, uh, just not going for the subs or for the views, but really just doing it because they're passionate about it, because they love about it about it like me i do this because for people's opinion i already do this in real life anyway so why not do this on here and hear what other people across the world has to think i was i did american horror story review tonight and uh i i said some things that people don't agree but it's great to hear what they they counter they counter on you know it's great to hear their opinions what they think like Okay, maybe you don't like it, but I like it, and this is the reason why. That's why I do reviews. It's because it's a conversation. Doing these things is a conversation. And then, of course, I do my film projects and stuff. But Brago, man, glad you're back. Glad everything is fine. I want you guys to go support him. I want you guys to go to his channel. Subscribe if you can, please. Check out his content. This guy knows what he's talking about, and this guy... Really, watch that video, man. I think I'll have the link to that video as well. As he he pours himself out and tells you, really tells you what you need to hear. So I'm going to give you a little advice too. He says about second channels and stuff. And that's true. I have a second channel as well, but I hardly ever use it, you know, to build up that channel. Because I'm really committed to this channel, which is really stupid. Because you need to commit, if you're going to, you should do two channels just in case. But I'm all in with this channel, with Dan the Man Reviews. But I have another channel where I, I, if I know that this video is on the verge of maybe like, I don't know if it's good or not, I'll upload it to that channel to see if it'll get copyright strikes or if there's anything that I need to be taking out of. Or anything I need to take out of to, in order for it to be okay with YouTube. And then if that clears and after I wait a little bit and it's nothing's really happening, then I will put it on this channel. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm safe. There is some videos on here that I think it's fair use, fair content, but there is definitely, you, you just got to watch out. You definitely got to watch out. I deleted a lot of video. I mean, I had so much views, so many videos. I mean, you think the videos that I put up is a lot? That's not even half of it. I deleted so much videos after I got two strikes. After I got two strikes, you delete those videos. You make sure that, like Brago says, that YouTube does not have anything on you. So I deleted all those videos. And luckily, you know, my final strike comes off Sunday. So that's really what you got to do. You really got to either make a second channel and build that up or just at least check your videos. Or overall, just watch out what you put out there. 
a lot of these live reaction anime videos i would love to do it but then i'm also thinking this is what they get you on a lot of this live reaction or any content you know there's content you have to be careful of i know reviewers like to use panels and they like to use footage but that's also i mean especially with anime i think anime is the most strict out of all of them because it's from japan is because it's from overseas other than you know movies and stuff but movies could get you as well a lot of this content can get you that's why i don't really put content or panels or anything like that in my reviews because it's really you're really testing the waters there you're really going out there and hoping that you got enough gas in the boat and you don't get stranded but this is all about Brago. I want to say, like, this guy, he knows exactly what he's talking about, and I feel what he's talking about. I'm just telling, I'm just, you're right, man. You're right. I I really don't want to see a lot of these YouTubers, especially my YouTube friends, get their channels just taken away. There is a lot of time and effort. I mean, um, I don't, all the videos I do, I do vid reviews every single day. I put effort in my film productions all the time as well. My top fives, those kind of things. I'm looking forward to the podcast I'm going to be doing, to the film, short films I'm going to be posting up. That's a lot of time and effort. That's a lot. Of, I love doing what I do, but to really be get that channel taken away from you after so much content after so much hard work you put into it and then not even them even just trying to appeal it it's just it's it's termination it's not suspension it's termination there is no if ands or but because they're not going to go look at your they're not really going to look at it and say oh yeah this guy's okay no 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 they're, just like brago said they're going to send you shit and just it's just protocol they're going to send you shit and that's it. You're just going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to sit back and say, damn, my channel's done. What do I do now? Super Saiyan Ichigo uh, 720, that happened to him. JJ Soracha, that happened to him. A um, couple other people, that's happened to them. That, I don't want to see that. I agree with Brago. This is a community with, it could be anime, it could be film. You know I love film. You know I love anime. If you see my channel, it's not just anime. It's everything else. It's in this world of everything else. Um, I look at big channels like Chris Stuckman's channel, For Neverworld's channel, um, Mr. Sunday Movies' channel. I mean, just imagine if those big guys just get flagged and they just their stuff is taken down. I'm like, how would they feel? You know, um, they had they started from somewhere. So people like JJ Siracha and uh, Super uh, Saiyan Ichigo and Brago, like they they're starting and they're building up. And then if they're shit, like that momentum, they're just still trying to keep going, and it just gets taken away like that. I mean, that's some bullshit right there. That's just no, that's not right. I feel like the system is just so whacked in YouTube. Like, why do you need to just completely eliminate the channel? Why can't you just suspend them for only just like a year? If, if it's that bad, if you're they're constantly doing this, suspend them for a year. Do like the baseball rules, you know? Do the three strikes, suspend them for a year, and if they come back and they still keep doing it, then you could eliminate their channel. But you should, it should not be just right away because there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that just work way too hard. A lot of individuals that pour their soul out to this. I pour my soul out to this day in and day out. Brago pulls, pours his soul into this. Flying Tiger, man. Flying Tiger is doing good. King Trunks. All these, all these people. Danny Anime. A lot of these people are just pouring their soul into this. And you just take it away like that. That's that's just not right. That's definitely not right. I mean, yes, there's warnings and stuff. But the warnings and stuff. Why would you need to eliminate a channel right there and then? Give me a one-year suspension. And then when I come back, if I continue to do it, then you can eliminate it. But sometimes these channels get taken out for some BS, for really just no particular reason. Maybe just like a little sound effect in the background or whatever. So I just wanted to say, Brago, you're absolutely, man, I absolutely love that video you posted. I'm so glad you're still on here. And you really have a voice, man. You really have, uh, you really have something to say. 
And when you say it, it's clear. And it's going to go into people's minds. So I thought that video really just hit me. And I said, you know what? This guy is absolutely right. This guy needs to be supported more. Please go check out his channel. He has great reviews. Uh, One Piece reviews. I, I still got to catch up on One Piece, though. I got to catch up on One Piece. Um, and I want you to support everybody else. You know, I want. I definitely want you to, at least you, when you see a video, at least you know, look at it and just... Just watch it at least and just kind of see how what people yes some people don't have the luxury you know they barely have a computer that's still holding up they barely have a camera that's still holding up they don't have tripods they don't have a mic I mean people go out there just to make YouTube videos because they want to do it and they love to do it they make film short films to do it because they love to do it so I mean just Kind of, you gotta kind of appreciate some of these YouTubers who are actually going out there and trying, and really trying to get viewers. Like, yes, my stuff is not the most greatest stuff in the world, and some I probably I pretty much have no clue what I'm, what I'm saying most of the time. But I try. I want to speak my what I whatever I have to say, my opinion. I want to make videos for everybody. I want to make everybody happy. I love to hear people like they're walking. I love my subscribers. I love my subscribers. I love the people who comment on my videos. I love just overall the experience that I'm going through right now and really just enjoying the ride and trying to just make my channel better, trying to evolve a little bit and try to just make more new material. And to have that all taken away like that is just the most, it's, heartbreaking honestly i don't know what i would, it definitely would hit me so hard that i would probably have to just take a breather and just walk not walk away but take a take a seat and just really just wait it out a little bit until i'm ready to get back into it but hopefully that never happens hopefully my channel's okay and hopefully everybody else's channel's okay and hopefully everybody is able to just continue doing what they're doing especially brago so go support brago i'll have his link in the description box and Thanks, man. I mean, you really, uh, I've heard a lot of videos, and this one really got to me and really made me listen. So, uh, not necessarily made me listen, like, you know, because I've heard people and I've listened to them, but with him, he, he really just poured his heart out. And that's what I always want to see in an in individual uh, somebody who pours their heart out and really means what they say and really just brings, or just really tells you you know who really has a message for everybody and brago you did that job you did a great great job man so thank you guys for listening please go check out his channel subscribe uh check out all his videos check out i will have the link for that particular video of his um basically his channel extermination and this video is just really a shout out to him and really just a response as well as to that channel because or that video because it's yeah i mean what can I? What else can I say, man? YouTube and their corrupt rules. <laughs> YouTube and their their rules and shit. It's it definitely is a it's a downer. So, I mean, I, I finally get the strike off this Sunday, and I can't wait to play around with all the features that I that I get after it's all all done. So, all you guys, be careful. Good luck, and if you love what you're doing, continue what you're doing. And it shouldn't be for for the subscribers. It shouldn't be for the views. Because I won't lie. I, w I wish I did. Wish I have a, a little bit more subscribers than I did. I wish I had a little bit more people watching. But it should. if you really love what you're doing, it, shouldn't, it should be really more than that. And honestly, this is just like breathing or eating or taking a shit. <laughs> uh, it's, it's routine. It's routine, but yet it's more. It's a passion. And I love doing this. I love speaking from the heart i love speaking my mind on certain subjects and i love listening to everybody else as well so thank you brago thank you everybody else i'm daniel maggie daniel son you guys have a good night bye